Here you are at last. This is where the path to the Bastille begins. And to think, I would have never thought you'd make it this far. Cependant, I would advise you not to rush. The fighting in these tunnels has weakened the structure. If you go in there, I'm afraid you won't be able to turn back. Delor, I have just one bit of advice to give you. Before going any further, make sure you're not leaving behind any unfinished business. Any commitments that you have not fully met. I shall return to my hiding place. In these unsure times, you can never be too careful. Ne croyez-vous pas?
Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. I went to the meeting point you indicated. I had an unexpected encounter there. Get to the facts. Who did you meet there? Madame de Polignac. The Queen's favorite. She made no secret of her reason for being in that desolate place. So now I know all about the precious cargo that is the cause of your great concern. Seigneur. The children. What happened? Tell me that nothing bad has happened to them. That remains to be determined. One thing is certain. Charlotte and the young Dauphin are missing. The evidence points to an ambush by the Duc d'Orléans' men. They apparently attacked the wagon the children were hiding in. How... how the hell did they know? This ambush could not have taken place without an accomplice. You were betrayed. A plague on Orléans and his damned informants. They have taken the children. That still remains to be seen. It seems that the Duke's men were interrupted while carrying out their task. Three of them lost their lives. A fourth was able to escape. Excellent. I bet it was my hussars who sent the vermin running. But why the hell haven't they reported to me yet? Because they perished. Every last one of them. Mowed down by the royal automats. I found their remains outside the stables. Oh no, no, no. The poor souls. But then, the children. They must be in the hands of the scoundrel Orléans. We have no proof of this. In that case, there is not a minute to lose. We must get to the bottom of this and save the children. If there is still time. Oh, if I could get my hands on that rat Marat. I'd find a way to make him talk, believe you me. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. Monsieur Necker. Madame? Eh bien, do you come bearing good news? Your wife. You may rest easy, monsieur. Your wife escaped the massacre. She returned home and left you this letter. Mon Dieu. She's going to meet our daughter and son-in-law at our charity hospital. She may already be there. Madame, I did not dare to dream of such an outcome. My wife and daughter. Can you imagine? And I thought I had lost both of them. The three of us will be able to leave the kingdom and put these horrors behind us forever. What about the bombs? They are not in your possession. No, not yet. You must ensure they do not benefit the king, madame. You will find them in the Amois de Fer, in the Palais des Tuileries. Do with them as you see fit. As long as the king does not use them. As for me, I'm going to find my family at once. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I pray that your efforts will be successful. Adieu, madame. Adieu. Minister Necker has given his bonds to me. That's quite a nice little sum. Can you imagine? That's one-fifth of the kingdom's entire wealth. Wealth that the king squanders for his personal benefit according to his whims. Ma foi. Monsieur Necker certainly has been very generous to his adoptive country. Generous? <laughs> I have my doubts. The loan was granted at a very high rate. So high, in fact, that it would have dug the deficit into an even deeper state of abyss. Eh bien, monsieur. To what use shall we employ this boonful fortune? If I could spend it, I'd do everything I could to return to the people their confiscated freedom. To begin, I would get them the bread they so sorely need. It is only after the scourge of famine has been vanquished that armed patriots might then be able to rise up against despotism. And where will you find wheat, Robespierre? Will you steal it from under the noses of the automats who have sworn to destroy the human race? As for arming the people, this is another one of your delusions. How could your ragged pack of wretches win any sort of battle that be unable to lift a sword? When you insult the people, you insult me, Monsieur de Lafayette. I am not insulting anyone, Robespierre. But I happen to know what it takes to fight, unlike you. Monsieur, I was but a lad of fifteen when I took up arms, and everyone here knows my role in the liberation of America from British rule. If you allow me to dispose of these bonds, I will found an army that will annihilate the Clockwork King's diabolical machines. As soon as I have the opportunity to leave Paris, 
I will rally the officers and troops that are stationed in the provinces. Then, I will call for a mass uprising. I will have more than enough money to pay their wages and procure the weapons we need. And you will have obedient troops at your beck and call, ready to repress anyone who challenges your power. These troops will only serve the will of the people. I swear it. Are you sure that the king has spared the rest of the kingdom, Monsieur le Marquis? I am almost certain of it, mon père. Despite all of his resources, the king does not have enough manpower to occupy all the garrisons in the country. Aegis, no member of this assembly can force your hand. The choice is yours. To whom will you entrust Monsieur Neckel's bonds? The bonds are not yet in my possession. Then please continue your search. Monsieur Bailly. Ah, Mademoiselle. I am very pleased to find you here with us within the shelter of these walls. I found a document written in a script that I was unable to read. Let me see. Ah, je vois. These pages were written using some sort of shorthand. A variation on Taylor's system, no doubt. I want to use it myself from time to time while jotting down my ideas as they come. What does it say? Hmm. It's a bit difficult to decipher. Je crois. I believe it's an autopsy report. The author writes that the subject died from a large dose of prussic acid. What is prussic acid? My apologies, Aegis, but I'm no chemist. You should ask Monsieur Lavoisier. Goodbye, Monsieur B. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? What is prussic acid? It's a volatile compound extracted from Prussian blue, which is a pigment derived from the cochineal, an insect. What does it do? Oh, it's a lethal poison of the most dangerous sort. Though at weaker doses, it merely induces a deep soporific state, or a coma, if you will. A deadly poison. Aegis? Is everything all right? The clues I found at the warehouse suggest that the gunpowder was moved to the Bastille. Diable! You must find a way to get there and put an end to this threat. The clues I found at the warehouse suggest... Diable! Goodbye, Miss... Monsieur de Mirabeau. Have your efforts paid off? Minister Necker claims that you were a familiar face at the Tuileries Palace. Well, that old story. Will it hound me until I have drawn my last breath? This, madame, is nothing but an unfounded rumor that I am trying in vain to dispel. To what do I owe the displeasure of having to defend myself once again? I must get hold of some documents that are kept in an armored safe in the King's chambers. What luck could resist your talents? Minister Necker said it was indestructible. Hmm. Oh, I see. Well, let me think. Who could help you? After all, a lock is nothing more than a simple mechanism. Nothing that can resist the expertise of our dear Monsieur Bailly. Why don't you ask him for help? I'll be sure to do so. Now, who else might be of use? Oh, there's Monsieur Lavoisier as well, our gunpowder commissioner. I'm sure he'll have no trouble finding you something you can use to blow the door off that stubborn safe. Good. I will go and find him. Now, if you'll forgive me, I have an urgent matter to attend to. You are forgiven for everything. In that case, it has been a pleasure, madam. How was your search at the Vaucanson's home? I found this penknife there. I was struck with a vision as soon as I picked it up. I saw Mademoiselle de Vaucanson running from the Comte de Galeostro. This letter refers to a hiding place where she often sought refuge. It's in the Jardin du Luxembourg. I know the place. 
One day, Eugène and I were walking in the Luxembourg Gardens when suddenly Athenais jumped out from our hiding place like a wild animal. It was a startling, almost frightening sight. The spot is on the edge of the garden, hidden by vegetation between two statues. I'm looking for a way to force a lock that is supposed to be unbreakable. Monsieur de Mirabeau advised me to ask you for help. But I'm an astronomer, mon enfant, not a locksmith. I know my way around lenses, filters, racks and tripods. But I've never given a moment's thought to how a lock works. God, Monsieur de Mirabeau was joking with you, that's all. Où est-il, ce brave homme? So that we might ask him. He has left. A matter that could not wait. Excuse me? Do you mean he left the convent? That's madness. What was so important that he would put himself in such danger? Intriguing indeed. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? I would like to access the contents of a safe that is supposedly unbreakable. Dare I ask for your help, Monsieur Lavoisier? And how can I be of assistance to you, madame? I need gunpowder to break through the door. Gunpowder? But I don't have a speck of it, mon ami. <laughs> Do you think I just walk around with explosives in my pockets? Oh. I apologize. It was Monsieur de Mirabeau's idea. Mirabeau? What is this ridiculousness? I suspect he knows full well whatever he's playing at. Where is the animal? So we can ask him what's truly going on. He has left. He had an urgent matter to attend to. Eh bien. I'm sorry, madame. If I could inspect the safe and determine what metal was used in its fabrication, I might be able to find a solution. But given the circumstances, I'm sadly not in a position to help you. I understand. Goodbye, Monsieur Levoisier.
Saturnize this hiding place. A fight took place here. Franciscus Antonius. What unusual names. Whose cane could this be? Perhaps the guests at the Cordelier can enlighten me. Has anyone seen Monsieur de Mirabeau? Aegis, I'd like to talk to you about my research. Do you have a few moments to- Certainly, mon père. I've carefully collected the te- Then I compared them with the observations made during my investigation of the man who calls himself Cagliostro. I came to quite the shocking conclusion. I think, I believe, I have discovered how the royal automats remain constantly in motion. Like clocks that they get their energy from the... They drink from the anima essence that permeates the purgatory described. These machines feed on the dead. The greater the mass... Is there any way... I believe there is always hope. As long as I remain free to pursue my research, I keep thinking about the three Nemes. These echoes. The alchemy. Precisely. What have we to fear? Not him, per se. Who is this? Why, Cagliostro, of course. The king. What do you f What do I fit? Nearly two months ago, the king forbade anyone from setting foot inside the egg He had the priests forcibly removed. Since then, only our father in heaven knows what they've been doing. What do you? My thoughts exactly, Monseigneur. What is the... The philosopher's stone. No one knows its true name. All that is known 
is that it is said to its very existence is quite just imagine what sinister purpose the king and his accomplice where is this to in the church's crypt but now they're no longer we need to know but how ages we oui, mon père. will you help us get did you not say that there is perhaps a solution the penitence door behind the chatelet leads to the quartier de l'hôtel de ville it's only opened on good friday but this year i had the honor and good fortune to here is the key Goodbye, mon père. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. Franciscus Antonio. Francois Antoine. Hold on. Of course. That's the master Arcbusier who... The affair took place during the reign of Louis the Beloved. Just a few leaks. I was still a young boy, but I remember it caused a stir all over the country. I doubt that it has anything to do with my case. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that. Have you found Monsieur Marat? Yes. You were right. Did he show you the way to the back? No. But he told me about the tunnels that will... The man is trustworthy. As long as he... You should leave us. And take up a... I found a cane engraved with the name Franciscus, and who could it belong to? Let me think a moment. I know an Antoine Francois, a printer on Rue de... But he is a man of the people, and a tr I doubt that he ever sported a cane with his name engraved. Goodbye, Monsieur de... Did you go to the Hotel de Masia? No, not... Remember, it's... I found a cane in... Does that mean anything to... No. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you? Did the names Francis... No, not... Francois and... No, not... I'm sorry, madame. Goodbye, monsieur... Monsieur B. Does the name f <laughs> We scold. I imagine that we're action but no matter how hard I'm afraid it doesn't.
I take one more step, there will be no turning back. This path will lead me straight to the Cartier du Temple. 